world of YouTube here. A uh, great article from uh -oh. Thunderbolt. Hey boy, where'd it go? Finally, 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 so I'm going to talk about this damn red pickup, but like I say, it's been so damn long, what are the chances of finding it now? So, okay, this thing goes on talking about, um, uh, you know, the oxygen and from 107 degree podcast none of us have ever identified this distinct looking red pickup truck seen by a local short time before more crash less than a mile away of course RO is the one that said uh, she saw it etc etc um yeah, we lost. Yeah, she thought the guy was lost or whoever was driving was lost. And uh, For one thing, it said it has a wooden bed or wooden slats. Now, if it had the wooden slats, that would indicate no wooden bed. I mean, what I've looked up on and found out that it, had, it was, she claimed to be a friggin' farm looking truck well farmers did usually use side step trucks but they do occasionally some people do rip the bed off and put a full wooden bed so with that being said now it's like but what distinctively caught my eye not only did it supposedly have a marine uh, eagle sticker in the window or whatnot or whatever the case may be it said it won't, the back cab win, window was oval. Now that means someone must have customly made that oval window. That's right. Uh, let me... Wouldn't be a square body, meaning it was likely a 70s model. Early there, uh, but an oval rear window. See that oval rear window being closest to the one she saw. As the bed is being the closest to the one she did. But again, they invent our oh, so truck wooden slats. So there's a new thing that I never seen or heard of was the oval window. Like I say, I put up this kind of stuff because why? I like to make sure that I have my words to back me up. It's like I say, in a lot of articles I read, I never heard of anybody saying anything about an oval window. A wooden bed. But the wooden slates on the top, I mean, yeah, I've seen people do that. I've seen people made wooden beds, but now it's confusing. But all in all, when I, 12 days ago, now, throughout my whole investigation on this case, and I can say I've done multiple videos over throughout the year and a half, I believe, maybe two. And around the year and a half, I, or year, I started talking about this. That's all I want to see now is I don't care who's who, who did what, where did what, what happened here, what happened there. No, what happened to this right here? Where is it? Where the hell is it? This is the only thing I want to see. I got to screenshot this so I can put that up. But this is the only thing I want to see or hear from. And like I say, the 112 Dirtbag in his Twitter account up in my videos had a truck like this, but it was a later model. Now, whether or not he put it in there to mock, um, or, you know, 
Could it have been the one? Of course, the picture is now taken off ever since I put that up. Whole page changed in its entirety and set to private. Whether or not that man did it, whether or not Carpenter did it, the brother-in-law, whether or not these three individuals, brothers in New Hampshire, it all boils down to this goddamn red truck and it 12 days ago. Now someone wants to look this up? Jesus, come on. Like I say, this should have been done right when our old spitted it out. Oh, red pickup truck, let's get on that, boys. Boom. All up and down the East Coast. If I was a friggin' chief in command, boom. Get up and down the Red Coast and look for this red truck. Anybody with wood slats, side steps, whatever the case may be, this truck should have been goddamn looked at. Looked for. Looked into. But, like I say, what's the odds of it still being in either on the road or set back into the friggin' woods or just sent right off to the jog, uh, junkyard to be crushed, never to be seen again? What's the odds of this damn thing being found now? 2009, 2020. Phew. That's a lot of years wasted, boy. Wasted. With a witness's friggin'. Oh my god, no one. They did their search, but still, man, it should have went further. And like I said, up and down the goddamn state. And she's gonna say it had Massachusetts plates. I'm, you know, this is one thing that really pees me off. Poor investigations. Whether the police have anything to do with it or not. Fred Murray should have put in on an, a private investigator to search for this truck. I don't know if he did or not. Screw checking out basements. Because now that's just irrelevant. I mean, there is that one farm I did on one of my videos of the guy, of the psychic that said he five-mile radius thing type thing and this and that and found a farm five miles away and to find that truck on that farm is the question. But, I don't know, folks. What do you think? Twelve days ago, this was put up. And this should have been done not even a year after missing, as soon as that woman came out with it, boom. Nope. And I was like, I think the RO said it like two weeks after something. But still, they would have had time to look. They should have dropped everything in the woods and started looking for this. <sighs> Frustrating. You go and, and, and like I said, I can't find that comment now, but someone said that at this point, there's nothing more to look into, something in them words. It is, it's getting, oh man. But till that next video, be safe, take care, and everybody, what should be looked at? The red truck. Oval window, huh? What's the chances of that still being out there? I know I'm going to keep my eyes open anyways. Doesn't matter.